Is paying $200 a month for ChatGPT Pro actually worth it? Welcome back, y'all. We have a very simple question to answer. Is O1 Pro Mode worth the additional money or can we just use O1? Because as you already know, O1 is available on the $20 plan. Therefore, to best answer this question between O1 Pro and O1, I'm gonna give the exact same prompt for multiple different industries and we're gonna compare the outputs. And the way we're gonna judge this is that based off these outputs, is it actually worth an additional 180 a month for the O1 Pro? As a side note, this is disregarding the other benefits of the Pro plan, such as unlimited access to the O1 models and unlimited access to voice mode. So if that's important to you, then this doesn't really apply to you. I think most people's reason to possibly pay for the Pro plan, other than the fact that it may include SOAR in the future, is how good the O1 Pro model really is. For this prompt, we're gonna be testing creative storytelling. Write a short science fantasy story about a nomadic tribe on a distant planet who must tame giant insects to survive their annual migration. The story should highlight themes of cooperation and adaptation. Hit enter. As you know, I'm gonna put the exact same prompt into the O1 model. It is thinking. Same prompt, O1, go. Here's our output from Pro. It took around 34 seconds. We got a total of around seven paragraphs. To best compare both these outputs here, I'm gonna read two sentences randomly found within the text. The Marv had no choice. The Hellestids were the only ones who could navigate the unstable dunes without sinking beneath them. Yet each season, it became more difficult to coax the giant insects to serve as mounts. To be honest with you, it does seem like it's taking inspiration from Dune, but we'll let it slide. <laughs> Coming over to the O1 output, that only took around a couple of seconds. With the total amount of paragraphs being 10, choosing two random sentences here, I'm going to say, as the trio advanced, Nora's heart trembled. She recalled last cycle's failed attempt when she had rushed in alone and spooked the Clemens, scattering them across the desert. The tribe had struggled, traveling in the near dark, losing precious supplies in the shifting sands. Not bad. So then that leaves the question, if you use ChatGPT in the context of writing, is it worth the additional $180 a month when the outputs look so darn similar. This may be a recurring theme here, but let's go to prompt two. Prompt number two, let's go ahead and solve math problems. Solve this problem step by step. If a brawl is dropped from 100 feet and bounces back to 80% of its previous height on each bounce, what is the total vertical distance traveled by the time it stops bouncing infinitely? Hit enter. From 01 Pro, it took around 52 seconds. We went ahead and structured the output step by step like requested. Step one, identifying the pattern ball movement. Step two, expressing the total distance. Step three, setting up the series. Step four, the sum of the infinite geometric series. Obviously, we got a nice UI here when it comes to the formulas. And finally, step five here, substitute back into the total distance formula. With the final answer being 900. This took 52 seconds. The O1 output took six seconds. Same situation here by doing step-by-step -step reasoning. One, all the way down to five, and we get the same answer of 900 feet. Now, beyond the fact that the O1 Pro mode took substantially longer to get the same exact output, Notice how both came to the same conclusion. Therefore, you find yourself asking again, why would I pay for the promo when it's basically the same exact output, maybe a little less text. Let's try prompt three. For prompt three, let's test idea, generation, and creativity. Propose three innovative, environmentally sustainable product ideas for reducing plastic waste in urban households and explain why each one could be commercially viable. This should be interesting. If anything, we should see O1 Pro really shine here comparative to an O1 answer, as it has more time to think and it's in a higher level model. O1 Pro took around one minute and two seconds. And let's go ahead and gut check this. Let's see what ideas it came up with. First one being home refill stations with smart dispensers. Second one being module compostable food storage wraps and containers. Third one being household repurposing kits for plastic reduction. Now, the first major thing I'm wondering is that are we going to get the exact same ideas from the O1 output? If we are, then... That, that's not a good look. A little bit different for the first one. Edible algae-based food storage wraps. Household refill stations for cleaning supplies. Okay. Multifunctional vacuum containers with a circular return program. Apples and oranges. I mean, I'm not seeing a substantial difference in output here. And what you'll also notice is the structuring of the output between O1 and O1 Pro is basically dead on similar. Concept, additional information. Concept, additional information. Therefore, it leaves us the question, and you're probably really wondering at this point of why the heck would I ever pay that additional 180 if you're purely looking for model outputs? I did a whole video on this, so check it out right there. It really goes over maybe where it shines in the context of coding. But in reality, think of it this way. When using ChatGPT and the Plus plan for only $20 a month, it's very easy for you to get a return on investment for that 20. The time you save using ChatGPT, the different outputs that can help you in your business or your work life, just save you time. And as we know, time is money. So the formula I want you to do simply is this. Do you feel like if you spent $200 a month, the amount of time you save from that $200 by using this high level model would be worth it? 
therefore leaving more heavily in the pro plan's ability to give you unlimited access to all O1 models. That kind of is the big thing here. Knowing this though, I do see very specific use cases for spending that $200 USD for very specific types of industries. And I've said this in other videos, so you probably are familiar with this, but one that I know for 100% would be very useful to spend that $200 on is in the context of coding out an algo trader bot. Using a high level model like O1 Pro and then giving it context of wanting to build out a algo trading bot that can be traded on the stock market is very advantageous because you'd be able to recoup that 200 USD very fast when you build out an algo trading bot that can recoup that money by trading the stocks. That's a whole different conversation. That's even possibly a whole different video, but for now, make sure you leave like, it's completely free. I may have just saved you $180 a month and I'll see you in the next video. Are you gonna get the pro plan? Or are you just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm glad I never paid that money to even test it. Those are two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.